So this video is going to be uh, how do you set up a nice pretty layout for yourself and uh, tweak a few settings here and there so that your super room experience is good. Now before we even start that, something you might notice is that everything is a little bit small. And uh, the reason for that is that I'm using a 4K monitor, so the scaling isn't great. So how do I, how do I fix that? And you might also notice that the text is not rendered that well. Uh, so it's not, it's not super hard to fix that. So basically what you want to do is uh, go to your C drive and then go to your super remote folder. And then in the super remote folder, you want to right click on sm18.exe and then go to properties and then go to compatibility and then change settings for all users and do override high DPI scaling behavior and then do scaling performed by system and chance. And then do OK, press apply, press OK, press OK. And uh, once you've done that, you can just restart Super Remo. And you'll notice that the text is rendered much better. Um, though it, it's, it's way too small. So we can also fix that in a second. Well, first off, yes. So this is how you fix the, the DPI issues. So now if I zoom in, the text looks a fair bit better than it was before. Um, now the next thing we're going to start is, uh, how do we make the text a bit bigger? Cause like right now it's just, it's just way too small. So you can go to toolkit options and then you can go to fonts. So toolkit options fonts. And if you don't see this menu, you're going to go to file level professional. You can go to style sheet and then for this font, you can just change it to say, what, 18? I like, I like 18. Um, and now you can say that it made everything like way bigger and I can change the font of a few other things here and there if I really want to. Uh, let's see. Interface. I'll make the interface fonts a bit bigger, a bit bigger. Yeah. Now that's, that's a bit more readable. Um, so I don't know why some of the buttons are, they're not working. Let me just restart Super Rima. But all right, yeah, now it's now it's looking a fair bit better. Um, okay, so now that we have this working, let me show you how to get a good usable layout for Super Mario, because the default just looks like this, and this isn't terrible, but it's not ideal either. So what you're gonna wanna do is uh, first off, click on contents, and you'll see it already made me this fancy thing, but let me do it as if I haven't already. And uh, let's say that it just shows it to me like, this and I just have this random contents tree or knowledge tree, I should say. So um, what we want to do is we want to put the knowledge tree over here. And basically you might be convinced to do this and then just do, right? Now, the problem with that is it covers up something really important, the status bar here at the bottom. And then what we can do, well, we basically you have to do is just manually drag stuff to fit your screen proper. So something like this. Now the problem is that, uh, let's say I restart Super Mimo, right? It's not gonna maintain this. So what we have to do is save our layout. So you can go to Window, Layout, and then Save as Default, and I'll just name it Default Cool Layout. And there I am, and I have a nice layout. Now, one other change that you absolutely want to make sure to do, no matter what, is click on Window Hints. And what this will do is let you hover over stuff uh, and then see what it what it means. Uh, if you don't have this on, you'll just sort of go insane trying to figure out what half these buttons are. Um, but yeah, so this is how we get our layout set up nicely. And let's just check out a few other options in Toolkit. So if we go to Learning first, I don't recommend changing any of these things. Midnight clock shift, you might want to change. Now what this means is uh, basically, uh, let's say that every day I sleep, sleep at 2 a.m. and I'm doing reps until 2 a.m. So the thing is Super Remote considers midnight to be when it starts a new day. When it starts a new day, that's when you get your new cards for the day, right? So if I want to change this, I can just make it midnight shift two hours. Another thing I can do is uh, SM18 alerts. So you, you probably, well, you're not going to know what this is unless you've seen it in a while, but my recommendation is that you change this to 1400 
and just like don't think about it because it's not going to make a huge difference for you and it'll just add a bit of uh, unneeded confusion. And uh, let's see. I don't think there's anything else I'd recommend changing any of these really. Yeah, I think I think that's the the main thing. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. So, yep, that's it for this video. Next one, I'm going to cover how to start going through the incremental reading manual to learn the basics of Supernova. Thanks for watching.